Namaste, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Welcome back. Welcome if you're new. I am so foolish, girl. I see the God in you. Let's get into this timeless love reading. I created this dope spread. It took me a while. <laughs> But I think you're going to like it. Let me know. I want a second chance with you. So we're going to get into like five questions. The first one is the person on your mind. What do what do they want to say to you? Maybe this is something they've already said. Maybe this is something that you just intuitively feel and something that will come up. This is actually like a fortune telling reading. OK, so I want a second chance not being with you is killing me so yeah this person is missing you they're missing your energy for some of you it's that intense for others of you it's just like a deep like constant thinking about you like if you just met this person ooh, i'm gonna tell you right now they definitely have okay well 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 um I don't know if I'm being thirsty or like maybe this is that energy like coming through for some reason like the card did kind of fall out so I'm kind of being open with this deck so for some of you if you have been intimate with this person they want to say that I miss making love to you I will do anything just to hold you again so if you haven't made love with this person then just kind of take this as them saying that's something that they would love to do, but they also want to spend time with you and they want to hold you. They want to be intimate with you. They want intimacy. Um, this is kind of interesting because I am noticing how this kind of there's kind of a theme here a little bit in the past two readings. So I'm curious to, to see what zodiac sign you cross watch if you do. Um, stalker alert wow I check up on you often <laughs> okay well well do you have to ask is this person checking out your social media is this person like trying to pretty much just stalk you like hopefully you don't go outside and see them like lurking down the street that happened to me once it's pretty scary okay <laughs> i check up on you often so they're definitely checking you in every possible way that they can if you don't feel safe you know always call um wherever you're like whatever your emergency number is this is america 911 <sighs> Wow, I'm tired of the silent treatment. I want to sit down and talk about this once and for all. So, yeah, there's a strong possibility that maybe you haven't spoken to this person in a while. Um, someone's missing you and someone's just like, I just, I'm hearing like, damn, like, hello. And my chopped liver, like, can you call me? So if someone's trying to play hard to get and like trying not like trying to get you to bait them and you're just like, I'm not doing it because you don't want to give them a second chance. If that is the case, then there you go. Uh, Gemini, if you don't have anyone in your life, then let me know. If you're not talking to anybody, let me know in the comments if you are. Um, if you're watching this, you definitely do. Let's see what are their intentions, their current intentions towards you, Gemini. What are their current intentions? Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> I mean, wow. I mean, family, they think of you as family. Some of you can be seeing 444. They think of you as family, okay? Um, they want to invest in you. For some of you, yeah. I mean, maybe you're, like, expecting. And even if you aren't able to be able to have children or if you have children with this person, even if you're not able to, 
they think of you as family. They might even consider adopting a family with you. Um, I do feel like, yeah, for some of you, this person wants to have a girl, a baby girl is coming through. Ooh, all right, just be careful. I'm just saying, maybe this person has something that they need to come clean with when it comes to you. <sighs> okay, so if this person made you feel like you couldn't trust them in the past or if they just seem like they're on some bullshit, you know, I'm just saying, ask for guidance and clarity. Yeah, because this person is serious about you. So, I mean, there might be, all right, what I'm getting, don't freak out. I'm getting that there might be some things that this person is hiding from you, but it's kind of harmless because they're stalking you, okay? <laughs> There, you know, this could be somebody giving up their, you know, just, they might tell little white lies. There is some deception in lies. Look into that if it resonates. Focus. This person wants to be intimate with you. They want to see you fresh after work. Um, they want to give you some attention. And yeah, like, I'm just saying, be careful not to you know have children if you don't want to have children if you if you don't want a family you know just kind of be careful let's see how are you feeling real quick let's tap into your energy see how you're feeling and then we're gonna see how they're feeling how are you feeling about this person you want this connection to work you really do like you're into this person, Ace of Wands, Aries Leo Sag, energy coming through. You want this to work with this person. You really do. Like, this person gets you excited. I like this, too. I like this Knight of Swords energy. <laughs> this person might piss you off sometimes, I'm just saying. And you might like if this person, if this person is sassy with you, that could turn you on. You feel like this person, oh gosh, I don't know. You just, are you like attracted to like someone who's like a business person? Someone who's like, has multiple jobs, multiple things going on in their life? You just feel like even though this person is busy, as long as they make time for you, there's no problems. That's what I'm getting. And you feel like you don't need anything really from this person except for love. You need to feel loved. You need to feel protected. You need to feel like they can be there for you and nurture you the way that you nurture yourself. Okay? Sometimes you feel like this husband could, I said husband, uh-oh, somebody might be getting a husband out here. But with this groom card, I, I, it's like sometimes you, you just could possibly feel like, <sighs> am I going to be, like, is this real? There's something here with a fantasy. Could be dealing with another Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy coming through. Let's see how they're feeling about you. I just feel that you're like, you know, being intimate and getting fresh and, you know, spending this quality time, like doing things to make this person feel good. What are you going to get in return? You know, that, that's what I'm hearing. It doesn't matter if you're a masculine or a feminine. It's like, OK, I'm going to do all of this. And then what? This person wants to come clean with you. First of all, don't play with me. Do you see this? <laughs> this person wants to come clean with you like if they've been shady with you or hiding something from you they really want you to know they're they love you 
this person straight up legit loves you and I feel that this person is in love with you I feel that this person is falling in love with you I feel like this person possibly could not have really told you that or actually shown you that they could have hid that from you and they could have made you think that they were doing stuff on the side or maybe they were I mean for some of you yeah this person they possibly could have I don't know you're giving them a dose of their their own medicine I feel like you're giving them a dose of their own medicine and you're just like you got this person in their feelings big time here with this nine of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy really strong gemini aquarius libra so you could be dealing with another gemini aquarius libra How they feel about you wow um i feel like this person they feel like okay it was in reverse the emperor aries energy they lose their cool you make them lose their cool i'm hearing there's something about a past life connection that they they just want they want to like not be shady they need to like their whole world turns upside down they don't feel like they're in control with you it's like they feel that they have to be honest with you like this energy is is not gonna work with you they can get away with a lot of stuff with other people but not with you and they love that okay um they could definitely be wanting to build with you work things out with you if you're feeling like this is someone you want to build with you want to work out with you want to you want to start some sort of company or a business venture with this person, anything of the sort, anything like just spending more time with this person. This person is feeling like you're the one that they feel like you would get along with their colleagues. So there's something about their work colleagues feeling like you would get along with them. Let's get some some more info for my dear Gemini. And let's see. What does this person want to say to you? Some of you could be seeing 1234, 1234, 1234. Oh my goodness. All right, this person could be trying to create distance and create space between the two of you because um, they could secretly be talking to some sort of priest or a pastor or a rabbi or someone who can marry marriage counseling um relationship counseling just counseling in general and it has to do with you there's something about you that makes them feel like they need to get a grip or a grasp on their current reality before things to, yes you make me want to do bad things for some of you like if this is like some i don't know some like sidebar stuff or like <sighs> hopefully this person isn't involved with someone else capricorn energy coming through taurus energy coming through home um, just saying if that is the case just always do what's led all right i'm just saying you could be making this person want to do something that is considered like blasphemous or sinful or this person could be quite spiritual or religious or just kind of have a conscious um even if that's not the case this person could be self this person is just like it's something about you that's that's innocent but it's like man they're thinking about you a lot for some of you this could be a long distance connection they they are missing you and even if it isn't just being away from you being apart from you i just want you all the time so yeah this is strong addiction energy but it's also like maybe you guys aren't supposed to be intimate before marriage or something like that that's kind of really coming through but anyways um yeah this person yeah just be careful if you think that you might be doing something to disrespect 
someone else's religion or beliefs, okay? Because that energy is coming through really strong. This person wants you to know that you matter to them. You matter a whole lot, even though <sighs> you make them want to do bad things. So... I guess I'm hearing you make me want to do bad things because you matter. You're like this forbidden fruit to this person. And I guess that's why they're stalking you. It could be because you're ignoring them. Because you're ignoring them, it's igniting some sort of passion, some sort of drive for them to want to get physical with you and also want to come clean on some like effed up crap like <laughs> that might have happened that made you feel like I'm not even really going to deal with you anymore um, if this person is in a connection or a relationship with someone else something else is going on you are the ultimate temptation for this person and I'm just hearing like I am praying like I need to seek some type of advice. I need to talk to someone that has maybe been in this situation before. They're thinking that they just want to be closer than close. I'm hearing so many things that this person wants to do with you that has to do with some hands-on projects. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, they feel like you're so good with your hands. It's something. There's something about your hands, the way you touch them. It's like, oof, that's something they can't stop thinking about. So, yeah, they definitely feel like yeah, you're a big deal in their life, and you could be causing them a little bit of chaos. But um, they can't help it. Let's see what the romance angels have for you. What advice does the romance angels have for you? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ooh. And Mercury. Wow. All right. That's just like way too many. That's a lot. What does this say? Passion. Wow. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like this is something to be excited about. It's okay. The heart always wants what the heart wants. This could even be an angelic connection. You could feel a lot of kundalini chakra activations. I'm just noticing the pink and the passion. I'm just saying, like, something about passion for roots. Someone is juicy. Someone is like, mmm, there's just something about you. And your advice is to go for what you want. Trust and believe in the angels. Ask for protection. Ask for guidance. If it feels right, it's probably right. Do what's led. If you want to give this person a second chance because you just feel like it's so hot and they haven't been doing anything to physically harm you or abuse you, then why not? I mean, it's up to you. But retreats, uh, it's time to disconnect from the world. So maybe getting away and spending some time away from friends and family and just maybe the two of you like not hanging out in groups might be a good idea just to really get some one-on-one -on -one personal time. I'm seeing that coming up for you and you're also being advised to maybe suggest that because yeah, there could be some other people do you see that i'm not doing all of that healing family issues yes yeah, something about your family kind of being all up in the beeswax like <laughs> tell them get back you know what i'm saying i don't know you let me know i'm just saying boundaries might be necessary <sighs> some of you are forgiving your person's in-laws i mean it's a lot let's just get one more romance angel advice for you guys reconciliation okay someone from your past is returning to your life i feel like this could be a past life connection 
or if there has been some sort of separation, just make sure that you're re ready and that you're healed and that you're ready to receive this reconciliation. Someone could be coming back to make amends. If you feel guided to, just be ready for that, in that energy and be ready to be honest with them, especially if you have any questions about like any deception or lies that or anything that you just feel like you can't trust them on anything you want to talk about be ready for this reconciliation and talk about that intimacy on that retreat with your person and let me know how it goes namaste gemini i'll see you soon in your next reading until then peace and love